Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to give you a tour of phpMyAdmin and show off a few of its features. As an open source web application, phpMyAdmin is one of the greatest ways to manage your MySQL databases in a user-friendly interface, and I'm glad I get to show it to you today. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know in the comments below what you think, and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started. Before we kick things off, let's describe what a database is and what it can do. In essence, a database is simply a collection of structured data that's stored for use on your website or your application. As you build out your website, there's a strong chance you're using one, and if you're using common content management systems like WordPress, Joomla, or Magento, they all need one to function properly. Now that we've defined it a little bit, let's dive into what phpMyAdmin can actually do. If you need to access phpMyAdmin, you can do so directly from your cPanel. It's right here in the Databases section. You can click on phpMyAdmin to be taken directly to the user interface. Now that we're inside, let's take a quick look around. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll actually see your cPanel username up at the top. If you click this plus sign, this will actually show you all the databases that are currently on your server. This left-hand navigation tree is probably the quickest way to get around and view the databases that you have and the tables that are inside of them. As you can see, I have quite a few databases here. Some of these are actually automatically created when I do a new WordPress installation, and a few of these I made on my own. If I want to quickly see what tables are inside of the database, I'm just going to click on the database here itself. So I'll click on this one, WP100. And after a few seconds, it shows me all the tables that are inside of this database. You'll also notice on the left-hand side that they all expanded down here on the table side too. So you can view them either on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. On the right side, you'll see a lot more options and you can actually check inside that table. So we'll focus on that one for now. One of the biggest benefits of phpMyAdmin is that it allows us to view, copy, and manipulate data inside of our database without having to learn how to write in a structured query language. Let's take a look at one of the tables inside of my database that contains my home and site URL for my WordPress installation, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click on WPCO options to take me directly to that table. On this page, I'm seeing every single row that's inside of this specific table. You can see here from the option name, I've got my site URL, my home URL, my blog name, and a description if I had one. All the option values here are really easy to see, and I can edit them really quickly if I want to by clicking on the edit option here. If I was trying to view this information in a different way, like connecting to my database through SSH, it would look a lot different and I would have to work a lot harder. Let me show you what I mean. I had to write a very specific query just to view all the information inside of this table. So I had to write select everything from WPCO options and then close it out. Now here's every single row that you're seeing inside of phpMyAdmin, but I had to write a pretty specific query just to see it. Now, if I wanted to make a change to one of these rows, I'd actually have to write another query just to change that information, and it gets a little bit more difficult from there. But let me show you how easy it is inside of phpMyAdmin. Let's say that I wanted to change the option value here for my row that is my blog name. So if I want to change Josh makes tutorials or Josh does make tutorials to something different, I'll show you how easy that is inside of phpMyAdmin. I find my number three here. All I have to do is click edit. I'm going to go ahead and change this title here underneath the option value. So I'm going to do Josh makes tutorials and I'm going to click go. After a few seconds, you can see that that's updated right here. And you can see the query that I would have had to write just to make that change inside of the database. This is one of the best values of phpMyAdmin. It makes these changes really easy to do and I don't have to write any long query to do it. This is one of the best parts about phpMyAdmin. Instead of having to write a very long query, all I did was click a few times, make my change and then press go and voila, it's already made the update. In a very similar method, you can copy the entire row here if you wanted to. You can also delete it. Now, before you make any changes to the database, I always recommend taking a full backup just in case something happens. Now that we've covered viewing databases, tables, rows, and making edits if we want to, let's go back to the main page and I'll show you a few more advanced options. Let's click on the phpMyAdmin icon here. And we're taken right back to the main page. From here, let's check out a few of the options at the top. If I click on databases, we're going to see a very similar structure to what we see on the left-hand side. I have all of my databases listed here. I can see the correlation, and I can check the privileges if I want to. If I click on WP100, it'll take me back to the essentially the same page we just saw, which is all the tables within this database. From here, let's check out the SQL tab. If I click there, it's going to actually allow me to run a manual query on this database if I want to. So I've got one pre-typed up here. I'll paste it in. What I'm basically asking it to do in this query is select option name and option value from the WPCO options table where the option name equals my style sheet or my template. Basically, I'm going to ask it, what template am I using for this WordPress installation? If I click go, it's going to manually run this query on the database. As you can see here, after just a few seconds, it's already returned that data for me. I'm using the 2020 theme and style sheet. The SQL section is pretty handy if you want to run a query, but you don't necessarily want to connect to SSH. You'll also see options up here to search, insert, or export and import. Now, we've got two great videos on how to export or import information into a database, and I'll be sure to link those in the description below. 
And that about wraps it up for our tour of PHP My Admin. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all.